Hi everyone, thanks for coming to our talk. Today I'm going to talk about ASP Vision, uh, an end-to-end -end imaging system for energy efficient deep learning using angle sensitive pixels. And so if you were trying to escape deep learning from the other session, I'm deeply sorry. <laughs> Uh, so the motivations of this work is really the rise of deep learning as the state-of-the-art algorithms of visual recognition. Convolutional neural networks are everywhere doing object detection, recognition, segmentation, many of our visual recognition tasks. However, energy consumption uh, at inference is high with these very large networks with millions of parameters, and this limits embedded vision applications such as smartphones, robotics, and autonomous vehicles. For example, uh, an example, continuous face detection on Google Glass would drain the battery in under 40 minutes of battery life. Um, and in this particular example, uh, image sensing and computation each took about 50% of the energy budget for this application. So current research aims at reducing these energy costs through either network compression methods, making models smaller, or using custom ASIC hardware accelerators to reduce the electronic footprint of these networks. Our approach is different. We are going to look at an end-to-end -end system from photons all the way to CNN output. Uh, and we want to analyze the contribution of sensing energy from the camera for the computer vision pipeline. And we explore optical computation as a way to reduce this image sensing energy in these pipelines. And we leverage existing computational cameras known as angle sensitive pixels in order to do so. Our contributions in this paper is to show that the optical response of angle sensitive pixels emulate the first layer of a CNN and we can perform optical computation. And we then analyze this energy and bandwidth of this computation and evaluate our system on standard data sets, as well as real digit and face recognition taken from an operational prototype. So what is ASP Vision? Well, if you look at a conventional standard deep learning pipeline imaged on the top here, we have the sensing stage at a separate block from the computation stage. Cameras are designed to take high quality 2D images, not necessarily provide the best features for convolutional neural networks. And the two units are usually designed separately, though that's starting to change. In particular, for our system, we are going to use the camera to skip the first layer of computation and provide the output of the camera directly to the second layer, and thus able to minima uh, minimize our power consumption at a system level. So if you look at the first layers of CNNs that are trained on visual recognition tasks, they are typically oriented edge and color filters. And this first layer has been shown in previous work to be application independent and transferable. A lot of first layers trained on ImageNet can be used for other tasks with fine tuning. There's a biologically plausible explanation for this in that V1 neurons have been shown to perform sparse coding on natural edge statistics of a scene with these Gabor-like wavelet factors. Our observation is that our cameras, angle sensor pixels, have an optical response that are like edge-filtered Gabor wavelets. And so rather than training the first layer, we hard code this layer optically so that we can save energy and then let the rest of the network layers fine-tune for the particular visual recognition task. So what are angle sensitive pixels? Well, angle sensitive pixels are CMOS photodiodes as pictured here, and on top of them are diffract two diffracted metal gratings on the order of the wavelength of light. And we are also going to leverage the wave properties of light here. As light hits the first grating, it causes an interference pattern known as the Talbot effect as pictured here. And the second grating selectively filters that pattern to the photodiode to give a characteristic sinusoidal modulation of intensity to angle. To repeat, the second grading allows you to have certain angles of light to come through with more power to the photodiode than others. And this is a sinusoidal modulation. And if you extend this uh, 1D function to 2D, what you get is now you still have the sinusoidal modulation to incidence angle, but now it is a function of the orientation angle of the grading. So these cameras have been shown before to capture dimensions of the panoptic functions such as angle and polarization and to do light field imaging. But in this work, we're going to focus on the optical edge filtering properties of ASPs to do the optical edge filtering for the first layer of a CNN. So if you take each pixel and you tile it in a Bayer pattern, and that, that uh, unit tile is then tiled across an entire image sensor, that is how we build our ASP image sensors. And each type of pixel corresponds to a bandpass edge filter in frequency space, depending on the orientation and frequency of the grading. 
So if we take every sub-image or sub-color channel from this image sensor, it looks in the linear system sense like an optical convolution of the scene with um, the edge filter, because the lens transforms angle into space uh, in the optics. And so what we get out is 24 channels of different edge filtered images. So why would we do this? Well, it's been shown by previous work that ASP sensors can be designed to op optimize their readout circuitry to only digitize when there are edges present. And so we only turn on our ADCs when there are edge present, leading to about a 90% savings in image sensing and a 90% savings in data bandwidth from off the sensor to the CPU, GPU, whatever you're computing. Um, and I encourage you to read uh, previous work to show the circuit implementations of how this is done. And this is a comparison with a modern smartphone image sensor. So again, we use the optical point spread function of ASPs to look like hard-coded first layer weights of a CNN, and we feed the resulting edge images to the rest of the CNN layers. To evaluate uh, this system, we're going, we show energy savings, but we want to show that we have comparable visual recognition accuracy for standard uh, pipelines. We show that what is the we we investigate what is the flop savings from optical computation of the first layer, and finally we show a real hardware prototype. And to do this, I'll hand it over to George Chen. Thank you, Suren. Thank you, Suren. Um, so we simulated the ASP vision to perform common visual recognition tasks on uh, such as the uh, digital recognition on MNIST object classification on CPAR 10 and 100 and face identification on PF83. We uh, compared the ASP vision result with the baseline CNNs such as the VGG networking network and the LeNet. We analyzed the effect of both the size of the first layer and hard coding the first layers with ASPs. We note that ASP vision results in a minimum degradation of uh, 0.1 to 5% across the different data set. And we also analyzed the flops saved by optically computing the first layer. The saving does not actually correlate directly to the depth of the network or um, the number of layers, but it is dependent on the size of the first layers and the input image size. For example, we see uh, savings varying from 3 to 12 percent in doing optical computation for different networks. However, we note that hardware constraints for the ASP vision uh, will have reduced the numbers of the first layer filters uh, in the prototype I'm going to show you in the next slide. So we see only a modest saving up to 2.67 percent in the prototype system. So here's a photo of our uh, prototype setup with ASP image sensors mounted behind the objective lens in the lab. Um, we perform real-world experiments on digital recognition and face identification using the prototype. And here are some sample results uh, we collected in the experiments. To train ASP vision on this small data sets collected in the lab, we use the data set augmentations involving linear uh, uh, shifts and uh, rotations to increase the size of a data set. We also perform uh, 20 trials for each experiment with 85 15 uh, training and validation split. And we show that uh, we show the average and the variance of the results uh, over here in the chart. We note that um, uh, in, uh, in the uh, yellow bar and the blue bar, that ASP vision performed comparably to the baseline after the data set augmentations, uh, showcasing a end-to-end uh, -end system operating in the lab. Um, our proposed system has some uh, uh, limitations. First of all, ASP can only compute the first layers of a CNN optically, and computing subsequent layers optically would require different uh, technologies rather than ASPs. In addition, ASP sensors have reduced the spatial resolution and the light efficiency uh, largely due to the fact that there are two layers of metal gratings on top of the photodiode. And finally, the optical edge response is actually depth dependent, as we required our scenes to be uh, slightly out of the focus. However, this could potentially be advantage for us to incorporate some depth information from the ASP. Um, to summarize, 
we proposed ASP Vision, an end-to-end -end computer vision framework leveraging angle-sensitive pixels to perform optical computation of the first layers of uh, convolutional neural networks. We, uh, we call this pipeline ASP Vision. And we show that ASP Vision is able to save 90% in image sense, 90% energy in image sensing and bandwidth, uh, and also reduce the flops in the CNN computing stage, while still performing comparably to the state of our algorithms. And we also show the real world experiment using our functional prototype to perform digit and face recognitions in our lab. And lastly, um, we hope that computer vision pipelines are co-designed with the sensors just like ASPs in the future. Thank you.